Hey, what's going on, Hot Ones fans? This is Sean Evans checking in, and as you guys are fully aware, we're stuck in a little bit of a holding pattern when it comes to production on Hot Ones, but not to worry. I missed you guys, and I need to check in. So I'm gonna hit you guys with a little story. A story about the time the SWAT team raided my apartment in college. So we're throwing it back to my junior year, the end of the semester, the end of finals even. I remember waking up in the morning and feeling great because I had a totally free day before I moved home for the summer. I make myself a cup of coffee, grab the mug, walk out to the balcony, and there I just see a swarm of police saying, get back in your apartment, get back in your apartment, stay away from the windows. I have no idea what's going on. I reach out to some of my friends that live in the building. They have no idea what's going on. And as the minutes and hours pass, the situation just gets more intense and more intense. You can hear helicopters hovering over the building. And it's not until I turn on the TV that I discover the real reason why we're all locked in our apartments. I turn on the TV and I see a breaking news report. There's a reporter standing right out in front of my building. Surreal experience while I'm inside. And they're talking about how apparently there was an armed robbery on campus or near campus and the guy took off on foot. So there's a foot race and the guy went into the apartment building where they lost him. So now here I am sitting on the couch going, great, there's a, there's a gunman in the building. Lock the doors, totally on lockdown, and then time starts to move really slow. This is something that began in the morning and as the hours tick on, the sun begins to set, it's nightfall. There's a mass of people outside, news trucks, SWAT team, police, and still no sign of the gunman on the loose. It's now nighttime and I hear boom, 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 boom on the neighbor's door, police, open up and I'm like oh my god was the guy next door the whole time I put my ear up to the wall and I could hear hands in the air hands in the air are there any weapons or drugs inside the apartment hands up and it's so aggressive what's going on it sounds like they're clearing rooms and I'm thinking oh my god he was right next door it could have been me and this guy locked up in the apartment all day he was right next door the whole time oh my god and then it goes quiet. It goes silent again. The minutes go by, five minutes goes by. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I go to my door and I look out the peephole and what do I see? I'm staring down the barrel of four guns. They're in like a diamond formation. One guy's down on a knee, other three guys over him. And I'm just looking at four rifles. So I just immediately, I'm like, boom, up against the wall. Cause I know in that moment, I'm just a fart or a sneeze away from catching a bullet. So I'm up against the wall, and as I'm up against the wall, I hear boom, 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 police, open up the door. And what I'm nervous about is our door was like broken. So like if you open the door, it slams shut. So I'm like, great, this is gonna be like another thing. I can't explain that to them through the door in this moment, it doesn't feel like. So I just grab the door, open it, starts to slam on them. Boom, they come in full speed, guns. Are there any drugs? Or are there any weapons inside the apartment? And you know, in my head, I'm like, there's, probably some weed in the desk but that's it I, you know but i don't want to explain that am i incriminating myself what are they even after aren't they after a gunman why i guess that must be like a thing that they have to say like that's uh that's protocol are there any guns are there any drugs no sir so they clear out every room they set up a shield and they have a guy walk me out of the apartment building holding up a shield i get outside we had these <laughs> These poor, these poor girl neighbors, they were just crying. You could tell they'd never been through anything like that in their lives. Neither had, I, neither had I, to be fair. So now, with me safe, I'm sure you're wondering, well, how does this story end? Well, it turns out the guy had just run into the building, went to the parking garage, and then he was like hiding out in a closet, like a cleaning closet in the parking garage. They found him after they cleared out this whole massive building, took him off to jail. And that's how the saga ended. Now listen, I don't want everybody going into like the regional papers and Champaign-Urbana at the time and pulling up the news story and poking holes in it or whatever. Listen, this is Sean tells his story. And if that's how I remembered it, that's how it happened. And that's the story of the time the SWAT team raided my apartment in college. All right, another order of business. During quarantine, my new obsession, 
foreign film. So at the end of each one of these story times, I am going to recommend a foreign film. And last night, I watched a great one. It's called I Saw the Devil. Wow, was it good. You know, if you like the Man on Fire, John Wick movies, these revenge stories, it's for you. Uh, very violent, difficult to watch at times, but I enjoyed it a lot more than those other movies, and I love those other movies. Uh, basically, you just have a story of a psychopath, he kills a guy's wife, and now he's on the hunt. And you don't want to be in this guy's crosshairs. So I saw the devil is my official recommendation. And to those of you out there, you know, I'm just, I'm a noob in this foreign film world. So if you have recommendations, please tweet them at me. You know what I like. I like an edible, settle into the love sack, watch a movie, no slow burns, no slow burns. I have a ADD problem. I need action. I need action. I need action. I saw the devil 10 out of 10. We'll see you next time on Sean Tells a Story. What is up, Spice Lords? Camera Guy Bill here just eating some wings. It'd be really cool if you, if you uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's do this thing. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Triple X. Like and subscribe.